Hello and welcome to It's Your Business with Mario Taniguzzi on Megapix Media. Joining me today is Jason Copping, who is Minister of Labor and Immigration uh, for the Alberta government. Thanks for joining us today, Jason. Thanks so much for having me, Mario. Okay, well, uh, let's start with just an overall uh, look uh, at the state of the labor market in Alberta these days. Uh, can, is there any numbers you can give me of, uh, you know, where the job situation and employment is right now? Sure. Well, the, mo the most recent data comes from uh, StatsCan. It uh, uh, shows August numbers, so just under 11.8% unemployment. Uh, unfortunately, you know, that is still significantly higher unemployment than we had same time last year, which is more, was more around 7%, uh, but it's significantly lower than, than the middle of the, uh, uh, the first wave. Uh, during the first wave, official unemployment was uh, just under 20% at that point in time. So as we have reopened the, the economy, uh, as we got through the first wave uh, and you know, various, various sectors, there's been a lot of people who come back to work, but unemployment still unfortunately remains incredibly high. It was high, it was, you know, high before we even got into COVID and it still remains high at just under 12% right now. Any idea like how, how many jobs were down from a year ago, roughly? Sorry, um, can I'm you just wondering repeat? where we are compared uh, to a year ago. Um, obviously, we picked up jobs over the last few months, right? But uh, we're still down, though, from from a year ago, though. Oh, we? yeah, the unemployment is significantly higher than a year ago. A year ago, we were in and around the seven percent mark. Uh, you know, so you'd be you know between six and seven uh, percent at that point in time, and it was just under uh, just under seven, I believe. And so we're now at just under twelve. So it's still yeah. uh, almost double. Okay, um, I guess the million dollar question is, uh, you know, and everybody wants to know, what is the government doing uh, to create jobs? So, uh, you know, and even, uh, you know. Well, well, thanks for that. And, and, and yeah, Sorry. Well, thanks for that. And, you know, we were very quick out of the gate, you know, uh, not only dealing with COVID-19, which is the first step you need, we need to deal with uh, this pandemic and deal responsible with it, be responsible for that. Uh, but we also recognize that in Alberta, we're dealing with the, uh, the triple threat of uh, not only COVID impacting our economy here locally, uh, a worldwide recession and a crash in energy prices, all of the above. So in, in July, uh, we announced the Alberta Recovery Plan, uh, and it was built on really three, uh, 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 three pillars, uh, creating jobs, uh, building and diversifying the economy. And, and what we announced at that point in time was a framework. Uh, and in that framework uh, has a number of programs uh, and sectoral strategies that we'll be rolling out. We have rolled out a number of them and we'll continue to roll out throughout this year. Uh, and as you know, one of the key elements or key pillars on creating jobs is the accelerating the job creation tax cut. Uh, so we, you know, initially when we launched that as part of our uh, mandate that we were elected on, uh, we weren't going to reach the, uh, the full reduction of corporate tax reductions uh, for another two years. Well, we accelerated that and we did it for July of this year. Uh, in addition to that, uh, we brought forward spending from an infrastructure standpoint, uh, plus added spending to that. So $10 billion to, uh, on infrastructure to build and create jobs and create those jobs right now, shovel-ready projects. And these projects are not only about getting people working today, but it's setting us up for the future. So infrastructure problems that's going to support growth in the, the Alberta economy. And then the third piece is, is diversification. And, and one part of that diversification, and we already announced one piece on it, it regards, for example, our tech sector, uh, looking at our, uh, you know, basically use of, of, of uh, tax credits. So, you know, we, uh, we announced the um, Innovation Employment Grant. Uh, to, import, to support the tax, uh, the tech sector in particular, but to support you know, and manufacturing, but uh, to promote uh, local companies here to invest in, in research and development to be able to create jobs. And this is just a series of steps that we have announced, uh, but we have much more coming down the road as we're focusing not only on supporting our, our energy sector and, and and supporting that through these difficult times and helping them get back on their feet, but diversifying to a broad array, array of sectors because really it's all about you know attracting uh, businesses, attracting investment uh, in, uh, in Alberta and getting Albertans working. Now we all know, you mentioned the energy sector, and we all know that it's been uh, 
a hard hit industry for the past six years. Um, so what are your plans there to, to get uh, more jobs? Uh, you know, unfortunately, we, we keep seeing uh, layoffs, right? Suncor just the other day announced um, uh, huge layoffs there. What, so what's the, uh, the goal, I guess, and the, the plans for the, the energy sector? Well, it's, it's, we have multiple strategies to try to address it. One of them and one of the big ones that we, we announced and, and as part of the overall approach is, is market access. So we made a significant uh, investment in uh, KXL uh, to improve our market access uh, south of the border, which also creates jobs. And, and, and we have people working on the Alberta leg and the Canadian leg right now and building, building that pipeline. But, it need, but we also recognize it needs to be, to be broader than that. Uh, and actually today, uh, my colleague, uh, the minister uh, responsible for uh, natural, natural gas, uh, just announced our uh, natural gas strategy, uh, which includes a number of elements in terms of not only uh, selling more natural gas, uh, but also looking at hydrogen, uh, as a clean burning fuel of the future and development of that uh, petrochemical manufacturing, because we, we're going to need petrochemicals for years. So it's incenting uh, in increased manufacturing here uh, and programs to be able to attract investment and create jobs here. Uh, LNG, and this is being being able to provide uh, Alberta natural gas to the, to the, uh, the rest, of, rest of the world, uh, and developing of, uh, of, of plastics and supporting industrial demand. And so this is all a key component we just announced today. This is one of the sectoral strategies uh, on, the, uh, on the natural gas side, because we, we need to support our energy industry, and, and, and you know, Alberta's economic recovery is going to be dependent on that. That's our single biggest industry, and it drives a significant amount of jobs and high-paying jobs to support that. But also, we need to look at how do we diversify that, including uh, natural gas is what this strategy is, and then looking at other sectors as well. Okay, when you look at the industries out there, uh, Jason, uh, what, what industries are doing well uh, in terms of employment in this province? So, yeah, I spent yesterday talking with a, a group of entrepreneurs in the tech sector and they're growing. They're actually, we had a shortage of some uh, folks in the tech sector even prior to, uh, to COVID-19 striking. Uh, and then they still have a demand and a number of these businesses are growing. Uh, so, and the conversation I was having with them is how do we, you know, take individuals who are unemployed here in Alberta and recognizing that they have lots of great transferable skills, uh, do retraining to get them into the tech industry, which is a growing industry. Uh, and we'll be having in, in one of the sectoral strategies that we're developing, and I'm responsible for as Minister of Labor and Immigration, is looking on the training and the retraining side, right? That, you know, because we're going to have different sectors grow at different uh, paces uh, as we get through the second number recovery, and and they may not have the the skill sets that they need because they're growing faster than they otherwise would have thought. So how do we do use uh, training and retraining? Uh, to help get people who are unemployed into these new sectors uh, for growth. So, you know, we think the, um, you know, we talk about diversification, you know, FinTech, uh, you know, Biomed, um, the, the broad IT and digi digitization, there's huge, there's opportunity there, but recognizing these are smaller industries. So even if they grow at high percentages, um, it's still going to take some time to grow to be able to, uh, to create jobs and enough jobs uh, for Albertans. But we are pulling every lever that we can to be able to support growth. So, so from my, my standpoint, it's not only, uh, you know, making the framework correct. This is like our, our job creation tax cut to invite businesses to come here and to invest. Uh, but then at the same time, making sure that we have the right, Albertans have the right skill sets to get into these industries. So basically no job here goes unfilled and we get everything filled uh, and people can get back to work. Okay, Jason, uh, anything else you'd like to add? Yeah, well, again, thanks very much, Mario, for, uh, for reaching out and taking the time and, and doing the interview uh, from, uh, from your house in these COVID times. But, you know, my, my key message is, is our government has a laser focus on jobs and the economy. Uh, we, and, and dealing with COVID is a really important part and dealing with that responsibly. But then after that is, is getting Albertans back to work. And that's what we're all working hard, very hard to do. And uh, the most recent or the latest data on jobs comes out on Friday, right? Yes, we'll have the most recent update, and, and our expectation is that we'll see, again, uh, some improvement, but I don't think it'll be marked, uh, and we're just going to have to work really hard to be able to support businesses and support Albertans get through this, 
uh, and get back to work. Okay, thanks a lot uh, for joining us today, Jason. Thanks so much, Mario, and you have a great day. You Stay too. healthy. Yeah, <laughs> that was Jason Copping, who is Minister of Labor and Immigration for the Alberta government. This has been It's Your Business with Mario Taniguzzi on Megapix Media. Thanks for joining us today.